She says, I have a hundred pounds to lose and constantly get caught up in how long it will take. How do I move past the impatience to actually take action instead of focusing on how long it will take? All right. So what you want to remember uh, for yourself is let's just say that you've spent, I don't know, six months. I'm going to, I'm just going to go with the number six months. Let's just say for six months, you've been obsessing about this thought about how long it's going to take and you haven't taken action in six months. If you had just lost two to four pounds a month, right? You'd be down 12 to 24 pounds at this point. Every moment that you obsess about something that you don't take action on it, you waste time. And what I would say for yourself is this is how I would rationalize it with myself. I'd say, okay, well, here's all the years I've spent thinking about this, feeling overwhelmed by this hundred pounds. Um, and ultimately how much time I have not actually done something. If I lost one or two pounds per month or per year that I've been doing that, where would I be at right now? So how about I totally change my mindset about this? What if I think about what Heather just said about that spiral, realizing I'm really never going to get out of that staircase. It's just going to be an ongoing repetition of me cycling through all these behavior changes and working toward my goal. If I just accept that I'll be in that spiral indefinitely, it doesn't stop. And if I know I've already spent X amount of months or years doing this where I don't do anything, but I obsessively think about it, imagine all the loops I could have made by now and made progress and gotten closer to what I want, what I think I want my goal weight to be. So it's that realization that time every day passes you by. Every day that was an opportunity for you to take action. And I, I shared this in the, in the forums with the, um, the 30 days to better habits challenge. I said, imagine two glass containers, two jars and every, and this is for someone who just doesn't want to have to write anything down. They don't want to have to keep tabs on anything. The two jars represent working toward my goals, not working toward my goals. And the reason you want these two visual aids is because every time you work toward your goal, you put a penny in the jar. Every time you're choosing not to work toward your goal, you put a penny in the jar. The goal is to see that the one where you're working toward your goals is way fuller, faster than the other one. And what that looks like is this. I wake up. I eat my healthy breakfast. I put a penny in the jar. Oh, I track that breakfast. I put a penny in the jar. Up, oh, you know what? On my way to work, I got a donut. And a, and, a, and, a, and a sugary coffee drink that really wasn't something that was helpful. I'm going to put one in the, I didn't work towards my goals by making that decision, but I'm going to track it. One goes towards my goals right there. Bada bing, bada boom. See, we can actually in every second of every day, you can be making a deposit into one jar or deposit into the other jar. It's your call. And even when it's the same event, AKA I bought the donut and the sugary coffee drink, that didn't help me toward my goal. I'm gonna put a, I put a deposit in there, but I chose to track it, which is actually a habit that does help me work toward my goal. So I'm gonna put one in there. By this back and forth that we're doing, what happens is the jar is gonna become fuller quicker. But for you on that day-to-day -day basis, if you tend to lose sight of what you're working on, if you tend to feel overwhelmed, change your focus. You're focusing on the end result. I've got to lose a hundred pounds. Why not make your goal? I want to get 50 pennies in the working toward my goal jar. I got to do this anyway. I'm on that spiral staircase. Nothing changes if I don't change it. I'm going to be riding this ride. So why not change my focus? I'm not going to focus on hundred pounds. I'm going to focus on how many good habits and uh, how many good behaviors towards my goal I can do in a day, a week, a month. That's going to be my focus because those jars, that one jar being full, and getting fuller faster is going to move you toward that goal quicker. But if you're obsessing about the end point of the goal, the losing the 100 pounds, you're at a dead stop and nothing's happening. <laughs> so it doesn't behoove you to do that, right? So really what you want to be focusing on is behavior, not outcome. So those would be all things that I would encourage you to think about.